can deal with disadvantage. Generally, he's a player that likes to utilize his down B to get out of combos, but I guarantee you Dragonite's going to be ready for that. So, he's going to have to keep him honest, not down B every time out of disadvantage. We'll see how it works. Megan already establishing a very patient game. Just trying to zone him out with Paralyzer. He's there, or side beat. <laughs> Dragonite coming in with the pea shooter. Usually you don't see that move too much, but. That tilt into Paralyzer doesn't work. I'm shocked that pivot grab didn't, didn't connect. Looks like I should have. Really nice run around F smash. That was pretty solid. Good for him in my mind when he had the time to do that. Yeah, I would say the main thing with this matchup is. Whoever's gonna edge guard better, because they both have exploitable edge guards. Like Banjo, you know when he's off stage, he's gonna be looking for that side B. There it is. And Zero Six is gonna be using that down B, so we'll see who punishes that better. I think whoever does wins the set. Dragonite going for the cheese. That's a weak shield. He can't shield another one of those. Three Wonder Wings left on the stock. Two Wonder Wings left, but it doesn't matter when you get the stocks. That's what they're for. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Dragonite may have a uh, controller mishap going over there. Four side Bs in a row. While the percents are even, Dragonite only has one Wonder Wing left on his stock, so advantage zero suit. Big with a nice there, sharking shield option. That's the last Wonder Wing. And when you take all of his Wonder Wings out of his stock, his ex his recovery is very exploitable. No punish off the ground. I should do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was smart. He fell out of the F smash the first time, just goes for the up smash the second time. Can't get out of that one. The Wonder Wings are back. It's going to take the stock instantly. Oh, God. Yeah, Dragonite, not afraid to use his Wonder Wing. He uses it very liberally. Up smash, a great option for Banjo. Shield pokes pretty easily. Wonder Wing again, he's got three of those left. I think Mugen has to definitely be more patient setting up his zoning game. He can't just follow the same cadence because he's going to get Wonder Wings, but... At this point, he only has one Wonder Wing left, so you might want to just let him burn it. Banjo's not half as scary with, with no Wonder Wings available. Oh, wow. Flanking with the out smash right at that sort. Anyone's game. On ledge, he's kill percent for side B. Paralyzer in the face did not work. <laughs> I'm not going to do it yet, but it's super close. Next hard hit is going to do it. Zero Suit being a super light character. You got to watch for one ring. That's it. That's his last one. Anyone's game. That's not a position you want to be in as Banjo. Your recovery is super exploitable now. Side B going to linger there. Hit the spot dodge. Oh, a huge paralyzer. Kind of delayed up smash, but it still takes it. Dragonite being at high percent there. 
paralyzed for longer, so that worked out for Megan. And I would say Dragonite needs to use his side B a little bit more sparingly, but it largely worked a good percentage of the time. Even when it didn't, it's still making Mugen stay honest with the zoning game. You can't just shoot Paralyzers, you can't just zone with side B. But uh, Mugen played that really well. He wasn't abusing his, uh, his flip kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Drago and Mugen? Yep. Wow. Mugen's up 1-0 currently. Oh, really? Yep. So this would be a mild upset if Mugen uh, takes this, but... Yeah. They're both, like, within, like, 10 ranks of each other, so... I think it's like... Is that, like, on the uh, bracket? Or are you just, like, saying that, like, it's, like, a general field? Yeah, general field. Yeah. It's, like, they're, they're pretty close to PR. Mugen's always been on the cusp of it. Dragonite, I don't think he's on PR this season, is he? Uh, currently, right now, he's sitting, like, at number 10 on the ranking. Like, I guess if you want to be, like, okay. looking at the bracket, but, uh, yeah, he's definitely, Xander's been putting in a lot of work. I know he beat me last night when I said I went to, uh, but Vugan, actually, he was the first guy that stopped me in Ultimate. Like, the very first time I ever played in a tournament set, mm -hmm. this dude, like, did, like, the <laughs> Zero Suit. Nair flip kick or something. Yeah, like, like yeah, and he killed me. Like, oh, what oh, was that? What the heck? That's unlucky. Yeah, so definitely, like, I learned he was really good very early on my match. So, He's um, a very patient player, and he lets you come to him. That's how he plays. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. You definitely yeah, don't definitely have to love, love it, it. But uh, it, you do have to respect it. And I feel like both of these players, uh, with their characters, they want to set up the zone game. That was a good time. Yeah, side B, side B really good if you want to uh, call it an option. Linger is there for, like, forever. Yeah. Because being in the side B too, like that banjo side B, I mean, oh my god, what a read. I'm not really sure what Mugen was going, thinking that he was probably going to jump, but uh, that side B is just absolutely bonkers. It, I feel like, and Drago used this really well, and he got me a lot with R7 when he played. He used it in like position where you're really not reactable at first, unless you're like one of those people that can just react really fast, but... Uh, he, he just like uses it, like he reads your options. And you almost got to, if you play a zoning character or uh, someone who's trying to camp, as Mugen is, you have to almost like throw out some MP hops to try to bait that. Right. You have to keep Dragonite honest, because otherwise he's just going to be spamming side boot. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I haven't seen, uh, I guess he's definitely going to start using the up tilt now, because he's been using the up smash a lot, but um, right. it's looking like the up tilt. And that's a 50-50 with the ground. It's like, if they mash out, up tilt connects, kills them. If they don't mash out, you're subject to getting smashed down. So right. It could go either way. He's been opting to use that a little pea shooter a lot yeah. this, this set so far. I, think it's like, I was just thinking about it. I was like, that thing looks so goofy. I mean, I, I honestly love how they implemented Banjo. Yeah, he's a cool thing. He's uh, just like his character design. is goofy but fun. I don't think anyone expected him to be like a zoner, but he's like a zoner brawler, which is like the only one of his types in this game. Oh. Really. Are we getting a... Oh, oh, I thought we were going to see a re-grab. That was pretty sick, though. That was when I told Shane grab you set up. Yeah. No side beats left on this stock. Almost pays for that, but I understand why he's going for that. I mean, might as well. You have one more stock, why not use it? And that was a good usage of his grenade. He gave himself extra height on it. Which, I feel like, when you don't have any side beats available as Banjo, your recovery is just so exploitable. Because there's nothing... There's no mix-ups. It's like... I guess you have, like, three jumps, but... That was a really good call out for using the side B. And is that Zero Suit side B as well? Like if he throws off the, uh, the little Zare almost like a little Yeah. Yeah. See the only thing I wanted to see Mugen stop doing is doing the counter and neutral like that. It's just so punishable. Especially with Banjo. I mean yeah, and we've seen that before. That was the second time that Drago was going up and uh, just held shield and then side beat right after he landed with the dare and he paid for it twice. So. No, and, and that was really good because like a lot of zero suits they'll go for that nair pressure into jab. Cause it almost feels true a lot of the time. Like it feels like safe pressure because a lot of the people will try to drop shield to punish Nair and they just get jabbed. Because yeah. Zero Suit's jab is like, what, frame one, frame three, something like that? Yeah, Hockey told me I think it was like frame one or two. Like, it's like, honestly, stupid. Super fast. fast, yeah. Like, you almost have to respect getting nared on shields because the jab is coming. You have to, like, almost make them honest, like, punish them with a move, like, that's invincible, like, side beat, like that. Like. 
Game three though. The Ox to go battlefield. That's interesting. I wonder if it's like a escape out like a zoning pressure. I'm, I'm not really sure why. Because I feel like Banjo also like can just like easily keep you up on these platforms. Uh, yeah, I feel like he, he expected a trade-off. He's like, yeah, you can you can combo me, reset off platforms, but so can I. But I can kill you out of mine with up there up the uh, we'll see. Woo! Get that board smash. This is already like a huge deficit here, like not going well so far. That, that was, was weird. That was really weird. I thought he was. I was about to say the See, other. what I think happened there is he up smash and Dragonite's up B, that little platform that comes out, it has a hitbox. So I think that like clanks, which is weird. But yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, overcommitted just a little bit. So much damage. I'm not going for the grab, but. Yeah, it's definitely. Mugen's approaching a lot. Well, I know, it just seems like every time you know, one of the approaches, I guess, they just get punished for it super hard. But, yeah, I'd like to see more empty hawks from Yugen. Like, once you've yeah. established the zoning game, Ooh, draw some empty hawks. Oh! That was so sick. Yeah, that was nice. That was so sick. Yugen, I feel like he has to, when he's grounded, he needs to mix it up. He keeps mashing out. He's getting punished for it. But that was a really good up too. Yeah, even game. That nair is deceptively, like, annoying. What's I feel on? like. Banjo's nair, because, like, just... I know it's not, like, good, per se, but the fact that it can lead into a lot of frame traps and... Uh, it's a weird one. I, options, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know, because, like, that was something that he was using a lot for, uh, against me, too, is that, like, he would just throw out an air and then fastball it, and then pretty much, like, I guess kind of what Murr does is wait to see what option you're going to use to hand it off. So, uh... Team... Dragger use that a little bit, but he didn't need to punish. Not too bad, but oh, he shooter doesn't get the up air. So interesting. I feel like that's the only thing I ever. Oh, oh my god. Okay, you got the weak hitbox. Fucking move it. Oh, that was nice. That oh, was really nice. Good call out. He needed to smash that because. Yeah, like the you're grounded those. option is gonna pop out. It's like you have no other place to go. And like those empty hopper you're talking about, Mugen just actually. Wow, he's still alive. He actually did use that one. He used that one of the side piece, so that was smart by him. And it, it's good. You just want to do that to keep him honest. To also burn out or Wonder Wing, and also you can punish Wonder Wing like really hard. Yeah, there we go. Luck. Ooh. Oh, the box. Fortunate. Air dodge the wrong way. Oh, that's unlucky. What does it Oh wow. Dude, this. They're going stock for stock right I know, now. No, this is crazy. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we have a... Uh, oh. oh, okay. Yeah. So, so Mugen, got it. This game, he's been doing really well. I mean, he's gotten hit by it, but... A, a lot, lot of these, interrupts. He's yeah. been interrupting the side view so many times. But. Yeah, not gonna get that one, though. Ooh, wondering what the up is for. I don't know if I was trying to do another side view. Oh, here's the juggles. Oh, this my, is why he oh, picked Battlefield. Oh my gosh. So close. A nice up tilt. Dragonite was definitely fishing for a grab there. Is that the percent now where you've got to be careful if you get grabbed, mix up your grounded option. Because yeah. he's been mashing out every time he's done he's been up tilted for it, so. When I'm worried about, yeah. See, is that oh, oh no! Don't mash out. He mashed, he mashed but okay. I guess he wasn't at co percent because Dragon Eye didn't go for the up tilt. Yeah. Oh, I gotta Here. match. Oh, oh my god! Oh. What a trade! What a trade. Damn.